be getting Roy to Richard and Mark to Turnji. And today I've got a very, very special guest, Matt O'Neill. Good Thank to see you. you. Thank you. If anybody hasn't seen you in the fitness industry, uh, I don't know where they've been hiding under a rock or something. <laughs> I because you'd say that. if you see Matt, you'll see him on TV. You'll see him any fitness convention you go to. He's the man to be when it comes to nutrition and fitness industry. Thank you. So I want to know, you've been in the industry for a while now. I want to know what the secrets are. I also am very, very interested in your online program because this is getting raw. Mm -hmm. We like knowing about business. Yep. Um, so we're going to have to not talk about nutrition for a bit. Yep. We're going to focus on the business because this is what I'm really interested in too. Um, you've, how long have you been in the industry anyway for? Like, what's, your, what's, oh, what's the story? 20, 20, 20 years or so. Over 20 years. No, so I think 20, every, 29 or something, yeah? 20, something like that, yeah. I'd say. So I've seen a lot of stuff. So, yep. you know, when it comes to like weight management, nutrition, and, you know, ideas and entrepreneurial sort of propositions and that, seen a lot. Knows what, know what flies and know yep. what will just tank. Yep. And now it takes a lot of persistence. Yeah, you know, to get to get it going. So uh, it's, it's a nice vantage point to have at this stage of your career, I guess. I think it's um, exceptional what you've done, because let me tell you about like you go in the fitness industry, you have a lot of fitness people, fitness people, fitness people, fitness people, and then you got Matt, nutritionist. You have two or three nutritionists. So why did you choose, you know, working with nutritionists and fitness? I mean, you started yeah. so long ago back when it probably wasn't a really big thing. But you, did you see a, something coming there in the future? Yeah, well, I guess it was a natural progression. It was. Um, um, studying exercise science. Yep. I'm an exercise physiologist, right. that's where it started and then we learned about metabolism mm -hmm. and metabolism naturally led to well, what do you put in your body yep. and so then it was on to nutrition but my interest in fitness meant I want to want to teach personal trainers about yeah. nutrition because they were all firing questions at me you know yeah. should I eat protein what about supplements and that so as soon as I was a dietitian people wanted to know and I knew there was so much rubbish out there mm. that you know the, the, the mission then was to put people straight to educate them and that just led, led down a career of building educational you know, courses, resources and that sort of thing and the tools you know, to help PTs yep. um, do what they need to do, which is nail that nutrition component. And it was the PTs asking for this information that wasn't there? Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't there at the time. There were very few nutritionists. There was typical dietitian would yep. work as a dietitian. Yes. The typical fitness trainer would work in fitness. Um, but there wasn't much crossover. Sure, there was um, courses, you know, the yep. Cert 3 courses and that sort of thing at the time. Yep. But there wasn't anything on top of that. Um, you know, and, and trainers I've seen 10 years ago, some of them even have gone on to be dietitians. All right. So it's, uh, it's good to mentor those That's people, good. see them come along. That's good. Now, um, let's talk about your TV first. I, I mean, I see you pop up on the screen sometimes yep. when I'm eating my breakfast, and uh, you always got some sort of food in your hand and comparing that sort of stuff. Yep. Um, was TV a thing that you just thought, okay, this is another way to get get out there, or why did you go into the TV and how did you do it? You know, everybody yeah, wants to yeah. have some sort of media segment or TV yeah, segment. Well, it, it might people might be surprised to know that from 1996 to 2000 I worked at Choice Magazine right. and I was their food policy officer okay. and, and media spokesperson for nutrition. Right. So it wasn't like I you know, banged on the door of the TV stations and yep. said look I want to be on Sunrise of the Morning Show. It was mm -hmm. more the case that in one day you had the three channels with news crews mm -hmm. and then you also had Today Tonight and The Current Affair would come past the Australian Consumers Association because yep. they wanted an opinion from Choice Magazine. Right. And so. I, I did like 50 combined print, radio, TV, yep. one day I did 50 interviews, you know, bang, 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 it's like a whirlwind. Yep. And I guess that was that opportunity that was part of my job at the mm. time. And when you say things that people get and they go, oh great, I like that advice, or that was a quick little grab, or they, it's something different, then they ask you back. Mm. And you know, here we are, you know, well over a decade since I was doing media, where today, tonight, morning show, sunrise, they're, they're still asking me back. Yep. Uh, and it's great. Um, so it's, it's that momentum. And, and I'm assuming in, in the early days, you got asked to do it free. Now I'm, I, I'm assuming you get some sort of benefit revenue from that, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. look, some of it's paid work yep. as well. Some of it's um, um, a quid pro quo. Yep. Um, and, you know, as you know, you can't put a dollar value mm. on the exposure to Definitely. get on TV. Definitely. Um, you know, everybody wants that, you know, 15 minutes of farming. Yep. And when you get that repeat exposure, um, it turns into dollars yep. in terms of business. Because I know if I'm on the tally, people oh, that's Matt, that's right, I was going to do his program. Mm. And the next day, you can see on the orders yeah. online, it comes up. Loving that so stuff. So that, that regular that TV stuff. exposure is really important. Now, that's good. Now, you get your TV exposure, but then you, yep. you go one step ahead, which I see a lot of people on TV not do, where they go, okay, I'm getting this exposure. How can I best monetize it? Yep. And yep. this one I really want to talk about is 
um, your, I mean, I guess your engine, which yeah. is Smart Shape. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us a bit more about the Smart Shape, yeah. the the jump metabolism. I mean, online yeah. programs tough. I know the online world yeah. is hard. Yeah. So, so yes. tell me about the ups and downs of that. Yeah, well, my business, core business, is called Smart Shape, yeah. Smart Shape Center for Weight Management, and that's producing courses and resources for fitness professionals. Yeah. So we do online nutrition courses, um, physical activity for fat loss courses to yeah. build on their normal PT training. Uh, we do resources, so we do tip sheets, we do seminar presenters packs as well, things they can just buy off the shelf. Um, that was first, that was for, you know, for done for 10 years or so. Oh, I've done that before, I, I have been to one of your seminars, yeah. about 2000. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I've got that, that's good. Yeah, yeah. The next stage then. And the next stage was then, well, and this is part of me, always wanting to do a weight management program, yeah. wanted to do a weight management program, wanted to compete in the commercial market. And Metabolic Jumpstart, which uh, the program was to give dietitian designed diets yep. to the masses, yep. and that has an online component, which you can get into the detail of, um, and, and that now has monthly subscription, paper order, and that sort of thing. So when I'm on the telly, people go to that, especially if it says on the telly, Matt O'Neill Nutritionist. We love the links on the telly, don't we? They, they yep. Google it, they find Great. you, and, and, and then if you've got your website sorted, they'll go and click through to pay. So um, it is designed to do that. If you're not on the telly for a while, yeah. then you don't get as many orders. It's yeah. as simple as that. Yeah, that's good. It's perfect. It's really using the publicity there and, and then getting it online. So tell me um, the bit of success online, as an online program. What does it give yeah. you, an online program? Yeah, well, the online program, because the, the proposition for, for visitors to the metabolicjumpstart.com website mm. is that they can get uh, a metabolically matched diet plan, uh, yeah. report and four-week program from Matt O'Neill. Mm. And so... From Matt O'Neill being on the TV, they trust me yep. as well. It's not just somebody they don't even know, so yep. they're, they're more likely to part with their dollars. Yep. And, and we've really stacked the value for that. It's essentially like for the fraction of the price of seeing a dietitian, yep. it's currently only forty nine ninety five. You can get is that a, a little one off? That's 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 a one off. That's the first part of it. Yep. that's the initial, and that's to get a diet plan from me, fraction of the cost. So for that price, people are just curious. I'm curious to see what Matt's mm -hmm. diet will look like. You know, we tell them their calorie burning figures, their metabolic rate figures, all these things people want to know, mm -hmm. and, and but want it from someone they can trust. Mm -hmm. So what we found was that then trainers would recommend it because you know you know the trainers they yeah. do their exercise well, but the nutrition and they see you around and they go yeah Matt's on TV trust him good there, there you so go I'll I'll send my clients yeah, particularly those that aren't interested in nutrition I said send your clients to me I'll sort their diet. Mm -hmm get them better results, and then they'll start raving about the PT yeah. business. So they come and sign up for that. We also have a membership, it's called the MJ Club, yep. and we on-sell that at the purchase, and that's nine ninety five a month. So naturally, I just want to see the membership numbers go up yep. and up and up, yep. and that's public. Uh, now we have a new club system that enables trainers and fitness businesses to start their own club, pay on behalf of their customers, mm. And we just want to build those chunks up as well. I think it's a genius. I mean, you've got the, the, the one-offs from the TV, yep. general public, and you've got the, the ones from, I mean, then duplicating a list, for example, personal trainer might have 20. Yep. We get it to 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. 20. So I think yep. it's very genius of what you've done. Tell me, um, having an online program, tell me some of the, 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 the hair-pulling moments out, yep. the, the failures in online business, or what's, what's been a challenge well, for you? Well, it's constantly fine. You're, you're always learning, and you should never think you're an expert you yep. know at all. Um, you know, often think you know enough to be dangerous. Yes. You know, in the sense yes. of it. Um, probably the you know you can always enhance a page. You can tweak yeah. and tweak and tweak. But then you've got to decide it's good enough to go. Yeah. So you can't be a perfectionist because as soon as you think your website or your page is perfect, then something changes. Google changed their policies. Yeah. There's yeah. a new Facebook feature and that. You've mm -hmm. constantly be, got to be on top of it. But look, the biggest disaster and the most costly disaster was when unbeknownst to us, the, um, our website and yep. 5,000 other websites was hacked and killed by um, um, you know, a hacker. The, the whole IT went down. Went down. It took us three months to rebuild. Three to, months to rebuild. Three months to rebuild. We had a backup, but it was in pieces. Of course. Tens of thousands of dollars. If you look at that on the bright side, though... Always we, a bright we, side. We, we got a new programmer. Yep. We added some enhanced features, and we've come back and recovered just in time to launch uh, 160 clubs. Right. For, for, for a chain of fitness centres. So what that meant was we just got smarter with backups and that. So um, take home message, have a backup. Backup. Daily. Daily ready, backup. Daily backup ready to go. And if your web host says we back up, yeah. take your own download. Don't trust the web hosting people ever. Even if it's two gigabyte. Yeah. You know, every day do it. Just so there's safeguards in place now to, to recover very quickly. 
Um, but you know that that happens as well, and yep. you, you just got to get smarter, and you do it. Um, you will find you won't have a point if you want to do a pure online business. I, I don't think there's a point where you say, "Great, I've created it. Now I'm just going to go and sell it." You'll always have to tweak it. Um, and, be prepared um, for that. So that's the that's the failure. Obviously, what's the biggest success that you see online program versus? Because I mean, I see a lot of people that yep. don't have that online presence, and then. And they're, they're selling their stuff ad hoc. Yeah. Um, what is the advantage of having an online business? Well, the advantage online, and I guess this is the, the holy grail for, for an online business, is that you you wake up the next morning. You know, I've got an iPhone app that I, runs my orders, yep. and my e-commerce, yep. and I click update, and I see the orders go down the page: forty nine ninety five, forty nine ninety five subscriptions, nine ninety five, nine ninety five. Yep. And then if there's a training course, I see two hundred ninety nine dollars, and so on, and that gives a daily total. Yep. So you know, daily you can get rewards for seeing, oh, people just paid that all online, it's gone into my yeah. bank account. I'm sitting here. I mean, it sounds like it's making money. You yeah. know? It's, it's rewards for your effort, mm. but it's it's nice to see that data on that app. So mm. that's, that's the biggest So that's the driver for you to see, and every day you get that ding ding. Yeah, that, you know, that's, yeah that's nice. And if, I mean, if you're on the tally or you know you've done a promotion and you get a spike in that, you know, hey, that's worked and I can mm. tweak it. So that, the nice thing is that like the real time yep. data on it, you yep. can change and adjust. Yep. So if you thought, you know, we sent that email and nobody read it. You can change it and do it differently next time. Cool. So it's, um, I guess there's a lot of little little stuff ups you can fix, mm. and that's nice online. Whereas, if you go and print a book, a lot of my yep. dietitian colleagues printed a book, yep. and the book tanks. You've got all these books in stock. Yep. You, you don't you don't want to do that. So yep. online doesn't have all those fixed costs. Good. Where do you work from? I mean, you got an office, your people, you got by yourself. How does the structure work? What's the engine behind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, initially, I was working at home. I liked to work at home. Mm -hmm. um, then I had a part-time office manager that yeah. came in and helped out with everything. Yeah. And it was a natural progression. You know, you, we've now got a full-time admin person, a full-time office manager, and the the dietetic part of it. Mm -hmm. So designing the diet plans, which we've, we've paid the software we've developed yes. ourselves, yeah. does eighty percent of that. And I've got a full-time dietitian that works for me, which then does the rest of it. So yeah. the the actual diet design I've pulled out of. And I mean, just before we were discussing it, I was on the online discussion, yeah. answering questions yeah. and that, but I don't do so much of that anymore. Mm. But my job is really to go out the front and say, come on guys, get on You're this diet, person, yeah. it works. Yeah. So, you know, the tip is get yourself into a position where you can be the spokesperson, drive new business, mm. and then if you have your checklist, you can hand it over to others mm. um, who really want to get involved in, in what you're passionate about. Do what you do best and do it well. Yeah, I mean, I joke with my staff and I say, I will set this up, I'll give you a checklist, yeah. and then I will get out of the way. <laughs> and they say, Matt, will you get out of the way and let us do this? And, and I'm, good. I'm getting better at getting out of the way yep. of myself, and that's a hot tip for people. I think if you try and be involved in too much. You'll stuff it up for your stuff. Mm. Stick to what you're good at. That's good. So um, where's the next five years for Matt? Well, look, the mission, the simple mission, mission metabolism is to jumpstart the nation. Mm. So, you know, a couple of weeks ago we hit 13,000 people jumpstarted. Huge, and huge. And that's great. That's, that's, that's business is going well at 13,000. I mean, think of a PT saying, well, what if I had 13,000 clients? You know, mm. you think that's fantastic. However, it's not 130,000. Mm. It's not 1.3 million. Yeah. You know, it's 23 million people in Australia, yeah. and I think that's a good thing that keeps you motivated. A very clear vision, which is jumpstart the nation. Yeah. You know, that's the mission. Like and like and, and, like and everything has to build for that. So when we did 1,200 people in a week, mm -hmm. which was our peak, then that just means you know a lot more PT businesses to help them sort their nutrition, gym chains, that sort of thing. More chunks of people. Yeah. So you don't just go, oh, I had four individuals sign up, mm. but I had four individuals that made a decision to jumpstart 50 of their clients. Mm. So then big groups. It, it is amazing because it's, it's, and it's the same with the personal trainers. It's like you can choose to you know, train that every individual. You can choose to make such a difference in a nation yep. worldwide just yep. by implementing different things in your business, learning how to do the online stuff. There's yep. challenges always involved, but yep. getting out there and uh, you know giving it a go really on, on a bigger scale. Yeah, well it is a bigger scale. I mean, and when you have some things in place, you can scale up. Mm. You know, for, for us now, it's a simple case of, I might need another dietitian. I might need another admin coordinator. Yeah. Um, we may need to have more customer service. Yeah. Being an online business, if, you're, if you've got customers, you've got to have customer service yes. in place because they expect to email and get a response. Mm -hmm. So you can have stuff ups, but as long as you fix them really quick with your yeah. customer service, people love that. Yeah. So we can scale, and you know, essentially 
the mission to is to help every PT start their own MJ club. Excellent. And, and it's whole designed easy interface to do that for them. Excellent. They can do it without much time and effort. Excellent. And um, we'll just quickly be touch on that because we're running out of time. But um, I find, you know, if you can actually get an MJ in your club, yep. in regards to retention, you know, yep. what are the trainers finding out now when they do that? Yeah, it is a big push on retention. Yep. You know, I think one of the big mistakes you can make, whether you're a PT or, or a fitness business, um, is to think, we're going to now sell weight loss. Yep. We're going to sell it at 200 bucks. Right. We'll make a lot of money. When you do that, you're actually putting up your hand and saying, we're in the weight loss market. Yes. That sends your customers out to comparative shop with Weight Watchers, Jenny Cray, pills, potions, mm -hmm. lotions, and that sort of thing. Um, I'd recommend fitness businesses use something that fixes the nutrition component, mm -hmm. like partners, for example, here's, here's my pitch, partners to let us look after the nutrition, which takes a lot of expertise, yep. and the fitness business then has happy customers with fantastic before and afters, because yep. diet and exercise is solved, and then concentrate on your fitness services, more boot camps, more training, more packages, seminars on fitness, yep. and grows from there. Makes sense. Why be an expert when you need to be an expert when you can just do what you're supposed to be doing really well? Matt is uh, online, so generally you can find Matt on Facebook. I know you've got a big presence on there. Yep. Where else can they find you? Where, where do you? Where, what circles do you play? Yeah, yeah. Well, most of us online are trying to travel less, yep. so it is the online presence. So yep. you search for Matt O'Neill on Facebook, yep. you'll find me. Um, Matt O'Neill's Metabolic Jumpstart Facebook page as well. Yep. Uh, Matthew O'Neill, no apostrophe, you know. I think what we just need to do is just Google him. Matt O'Neill. <laughs> Matt O'Neill, you'll find him. Google Matt O'Neill, Smart Shape, and uh, thanks for your time, mate. Thanks, sir. Thank thanks you. so much. Cheers.